After an automatic gate opener, but you're not sure where to start, in this short video, we are going to guide you in the right direction and hopefully answer some of those questions that may be stopping you from taking that next step. We hear all the time from our customers that they are tired of opening and closing their gate, especially in winter and especially in the rain. Then there are other customers that just want the added security to their property and to keep their pets safe and secure. What we will go over first are the most important factors that you need to consider before automating your gate. These factors will not only relate to our gate opener kits, but also to others out there on the market. Is your gate swinging from a pier or pillar? If so, we recommend calling us to discuss, as your setup may not be suitable for our gate openers, depending on the pier or pillar's size and where your gates are mounted and swinging from. Gate length is important to know. Many gate openers will have a maximum gate length they are suited to. With our E8 system, they will suit up to your four meter gate, while the TMT kits suit up to your five meter gates. Your gate length requirement is not about the weight of the gate, it's about the leverage that the actuator arm requires to pull and push the longer gates open and close, along with any wind resistance on the gate. Gates that are enclosed or have a solid infill are big wind catches, as you can imagine, such as colour bond gates or gates with timber palings. We would highly recommend looking at our TMT kits due to the enclosed surface area. Open wind friendly gates are much more preferred for most gate openers. If you are unsure that either of our systems will work with your gate design, please feel free to contact us to discuss. Your gate must be swinging level and plumb with the post and not dragging along the ground. Good working hinges are a must that aren't binding or making the gate seem heavier than it actually is. As the saying goes, an opener is only as good as the gate it's swinging from. Does your gate swing out towards the road to open? Maybe because of the way your land falls or you just prefer your gate set up this way. Some gate opener kits will accommodate this and some won't. Will our kits suit this setup? Yes, they will. You may require the push to open bracket added to the kit, which we will discuss later in this video. Will your gate require a physical stop? Most gate openers will require a physical stop for the gate to close onto. If you have a single gate set up, then you will need your gate to close onto the opposite post or a physical stop. And if you have a double gate set up, then your rubber gate stop will need to be secured to the middle of the driveway for the gates to close onto. The stops supplied in our kits sit approximately 30 mil high. Our E8 kits do require a physical stop. However, if this is not possible for some reason, then our TMT kits can work off limits and do not require the gate stop. Also, for double gate setups, you will be required to run cable across the driveway for the second actuator arm. Again, this cable would be supplied in our kits. Most gate opener kits are suited to a 90 degree opening. However, our system may be capable of going to 110 degrees, depending on your setup. Last but not least, will there be anything obstructing the actuator arm when the gate is open, such as a fence or garden bed? As you can see, an example with this video, the actuator arm just clears the rocks lining the driveway edge, just enough so they don't hinder the actuator arm when the gate is fully opened. Now that we have looked at the most important factors when considering swing gate automation, we can now look at whether an electric setup or solar setup will be best suited. Electric kits. Our electric kits are a great option as they are a low voltage system, therefore not using much power and not requiring an electrician, and you don't require a physical power point at the gate. Our electric kits come with a weatherproof outdoor transformer that can be positioned at your power point as shown here, up to 50 metres for the E8 system and 30 metres for the TMT system. Running low voltage cable from the transformer down to the control box at the gate is so simple because you don't need to go 600 into the ground as you do with 240. You can then run the low voltage cable as little as 100 mil underground and through conduit for protection. You will also have the option of adding a backup battery to your system in case you are in an area that has regular blackouts. This way the gate will still operate even when you lose power. Solar kits. 
Our solar kits come with either a 40 watt or a 45 watt solar panel, a mounting bracket and 10 meters of cable. We highly recommend that your solar panel is positioned facing full north in a spot that will receive a minimum of six hours of full sun daily with no part shading. Any type of shading over your solar panel can cut the charge rate down by 80%. If the 10 meters of cable supplied with the solar panel just falls short of having the panel in the sun, then keep in mind you can add another 20 meters of cable to ensure your solar panel receives the full sun required. The battery supplied in our solar kits is a 12 volt, 14 amp deep cycle battery. With testing, we found that a fully charged battery allows up to 100 openings and closings before the battery goes flat and needs full charge. If you find that your battery goes flat due to bad weather or over usage, then it's a good idea to have a 12 volt battery charger at home that will allow you to pop the 14 amp battery on charge for a couple of hours, then back into your unit once fully charged. We do have a 12 volt battery charger as an optional extra. Please check our website for more details. Now that you've decided which power setup will be best suited for your situation, we can now go ahead and look at some comparisons between our E8 and TMT systems. Let's go over the main points on the comparison table. Gate weight, these weights always gradually increase as the gate length becomes longer. So here we can see the E8 is rated to 250 kilos at a one and a half meter gate, and the TMT is 450 kilos at a three meter gate. As an example, on a gate length of four meters, the E8 system would push out to approximately a 90 kilo rating, and the TMT would push out to approximately a 300 kilo rating. Gate style. The E8 gate system is best suited to farm gates or wind friendly gates, such as open pool fence style gates. The TMT will obviously handle the same type of gates as the E8 system, however they will also handle gates that are mostly or fully enclosed and that are not wind friendly. The E8 system is a 12 volt system and the TMT is a 24 volt and slightly quicker than the E8. Both systems have your auto close function and obstruction feature. The TMT can work off either overcurrent or limits, whereas the E8 only works off overcurrent. So for example, if you cannot use a ground stop for your double swing gates, then this is where the TMT will be the winner, as it doesn't require the center stop and allows you to set up the system via the limits on the actuator arms. Hopefully by now you have decided which system will be best suited for your situation. We can now explain the kit inclusions for both solar and electric and any optional extras that may be required. Supplied in the kits are actuator arms and mounting brackets. When installing the actuator arm, it is best suited to the middle of the gate for single gate setups. If you don't have a mid horizontal bar on your gate, then you can install the arm at the top or bottom of the gate frame as well. Double gates are best set up with the actuator arm on the bottom of the gate frame as this is where all the force is applied when closing onto the center gate stop. The standard post brackets supplied in the kits are approximately 100 by 90 mil flat bracket. If you have a square post, then this bracket will work perfectly. However, if you have a round post, then you have two options. Option one, if your round post is large enough and allows you to notch out a flat spot for the standard flat bracket to attach to, then you can go ahead and do that. Option two, if your post doesn't allow for the flat bracket setup, then you can order our optional round post brackets. These brackets have a slight curve to the back of them, which will sit nicely onto your round post. When attaching your post brackets with either option, it's highly recommended that you either drill all the way through your post using coach bolts, or if this is not possible, then use the longest bolts that you can. Do not use tech screws. The gate bracket supplied in the kit is also a flat mounting bracket that will require to be bolted through your gate. These gate bolts are supplied for you. If you have a rural farm gate with the round tubing as your gate frame, then you do have the optional round gate bracket that you may like to add to your kit. This round gate bracket acts like a clamp. The bracket comes apart and clamps around your rural farm gate frame and then provides a flat surface for the standard gate bracket to bolt to. The round gate bracket will prevent you from having to drill through your farm gate frame and also allow for adjustment when initially setting your kit up. 
The last bracket that needs to be considered is the push to open bracket. If you intend on having the actuator on the inside of the property, pulling the gate inwards to open, then you won't require the push to open bracket. If you require your gate to push out towards the road, then you will have two options for the actuator arm setup. Option one is to have the actuator arm on the outside of the property, pulling the gate outwards to open, which will not require the push to open bracket. Option two is to have the actuator arm on the inside of the property, pushing the gate out towards the road to open. Having this setup will require the push to open bracket. When choosing to go this option, please keep in mind that when the gate is in the full open position, approximately 200 mil of the actuator arm will be within the driveway area. If you are considering the solar kit, then you will be supplied with a solar panel, which comes with 10 meters of cable and a mounting bracket, as well as a PWM solar controller, and either one or two of the 12 volt 14 amp batteries, depending on your kit of choice. If you are considering the electric kit, then you will be supplied with an outdoor transformer. The transformer will have approximately two meters of cable on each side. So if your power point is further away from the gate, then you will need to add low voltage cable to your installation. We recommend running two core, two and a half mil cable. You will also have an option of purchasing the backup battery at the same time when ordering your kit. Both the E8 and TMT kits will include an outdoor control box, which will house your main control board. If using solar for the E8, then your battery and solar charger will be housed in the same control box. However, with the TMT system, you will be supplied with a separate outdoor box for both the batteries and solar charger. You will also be supplied with a rubber gate stop. It is very important if using the E8 system that your gate or gates close onto a stop. This will provide a solid hold of the gates in the closed position. If installing a single swing kit, then you may have the gate closing onto the opposite post. If this is not possible because there is a gap between the gate and posts, then you can utilize the rubber stop by attaching it to the post and having a gate close onto it. If installing a double swing kit, then you would be required to mount the gate stop to the middle of the driveway for the gates to close up onto. If for some reason you cannot have your gate or gates close onto a stop, then the TMT system would be required for your setup. When the gates are in the open position, no stops are required as the actuator arms will either be at full extension or full retraction for both the E8 and TMT systems and will use the overcurrent sensing to switch off. If, however, you are using the TMT system with the limit setup, then the arms will use these to stop. You will be supplied with a caution sign to attach to the front of your gate to deter people from pulling or pushing on the gate and notifying them that there is an automatic gate opener installed. For our double kits, there will be cable supplied for the second actuator arm. The cable will need to run across the driveway to power the arm. If you are going to struggle to get cable across the driveway, then we would advise using an aluminium strip or sliding gate track that has a hollow section to run your cable through and protect it. You will be supplied with two remotes in your kit. You can purchase extra remotes at the time of ordering your kits. Now last but not least is visitor access. You have optional keypads and push buttons to choose from, which can be either wired or wireless. A few different options are keypad on the outside with a four digit pin for visitors entering the property and either a second one on the inside for them to leave or a nice simple push button for them to use. Another would be having a push button for entry and one for exit, or you could just have one of the push buttons somewhere central to the gate. So whether you're inside or outside the property, you can access the button. If considering a keypad for your kit and it's solar, then we would advise using the wireless keypad to conserve battery power. Now that you have all this knowledge on automatic swing openers, along with extra details on our kits, hopefully this will give you the confidence needed when selecting a system for your gate. If you would like to view any further details on our kits and accessories or pricing, you will find us at www.bmgi.com.au. 
If you like what you see and you think our kits will suit your requirements, then you can either order through our online shop or give us a call on 07 3205 3002. And of course, if you are still unsure of something, please feel free to call us with any further questions you may have or send us an email with your questions or photos to sales at bmgi.com.au.